of prayer I believe a believer should pray if he must be able to be victorious all the time the book of first Timothy 2 1 Paul counsel Timothy he said I assert therefore that first of all supplications prayers intercessions and giving of times be made for all men for kings and for all that are in authority that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and in verity. 
I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands, without wrath and doubting. If you look at all that Paul was counseling Timothy there, what is supplication? According to Paul here, supplication is different from prayers. Intercession is different from supplication. Giving of thanks is so. This is what we call. You know, when you say prayer, it consumes so many things. And to make the matter more complicated, everything there is in plural form. There is no time for this one. And let, let, let you understand that the way the module of engaging God are so many. So it is an evil thing for a believer not to engage God in a day. Because at least for adventure, you can go into God eh, via supplication. You can go via invite supplications. So there are many. Via intercession. You can also go via prayers, not just prayer. Prayers, there are so many. And that's why when I see people try to analyze prayer, I say they don't understand. I may not pray the way you are praying, but it's still prayer. Prayer becomes anything if your heart is aligned. Now I'm telling you, when you come to engagement of God, you can't define a model to people sufficiently well. Because the way it happened yesterday may happen today. It may not happen today. Talk about giving of tongues. When he went further, eight, he said, I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and without doubt. I love that. It is a wish. But he willed it to us. Can you will that from today you will ensure that you pray everywhere? He said, Let me tell you, there is no law against prayer, and any law against prayer is permitted to be broken. That's why Muslim are very terrible. Muslim pray everywhere. You realize that? You are traveling with them on the bus. When it's time of prayer, they will stop, they will block the road and pray. If they have their way to pray in the sky when they are flying. There is no law against prayer. You can't set a law against prayer and succeed. It's a lie. Because prayer is a common denominator to every religion on earth. In fact, the strength of religion is even prayer. Prayer and worship. So Paul said, I will that man pray everywhere if you are in the room you pray if you are in the bathroom you pray if you are in the kitchen you pray if you are in the workplace you pray if you are traveling you pray you can you can come to a point where you can pray everywhere i'm not saying black 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 that one is speaking in tongues you can master the act of prayers and this engagement he said this engagement Giving of thanks, this is, you can do it everywhere. I can be saying, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I will say that for the next three hours. And I'm praying. I'm telling you, I can just be saying, Jesus, I love you. Did you tell Jesus you love him in the day? This is our power. You don't believe what I'm telling you. There are days I'm so tired. I can't. Let's not lie to ourselves. Like Samson, there are days you try to rise up and suddenly discover that the head is short. You can cry again. I hate to come back again. So I will not begin with I'll begin with thank you, Jesus. Quicken me and I will call upon you. You know I have to pray. You have commanded me to pray. Lord Jesus, I, pray. I love you. See, better you even come to the place of prayer and sleep than you never even come at all. Come there. Jesus took them now. They slept, but at least they went together with him. Sometimes I start and I sleep and I wake up again and I continue and I sleep again and I wake up and I continue. Somebody asks me, how do I pray? I say, I pray anyhow. So for him, he sleep. I say, well, sleep or wake up, God, again. <laughs> you know, sometimes you are studying the Bible. As you are reading, you read like maybe two chapters, three chapters, then you now sleep. 
You now wake up again later. Sometimes I, when you sleep, you now have a dream. Then I wake up and If you are not reading, will you sleep and have a dream? <laughs> the Bible says Peter was in Joppa. He was praying and fasting. He was doing retreat. But he was not sleeping. Well, I not sleep now. He now saw And he was hungry. So you will do. You will be hungry. You will be sleep. It's the normal thing, my friends. Are you talking? Others will not tell me when they are praying, they now start being dis- distracted in their mind. They now begin to see pictures of this. My brothers, add those things to the prayer. Now I'm telling you, if you are praying and the devil is showing you the picture of that time you stole meat in pot, <laughs> then the devil has a Canon camera. A very clean one. So that time that you uh, you went and stood that, maybe you saw one thousand and his money. Oh, you didn't ask permission. He said, "I will ask now." I didn't ask. He now took it and you put it in your pocket. Money was not there, but devil had a camera, Canon camera. He snapped it. And he saved it in your archive. That time that you were moving and you fought with that person in the park, and you now still carry your Bible again. Say, we are men of God. The devil snapped that act. That time that you walk in the flesh a little bit, the devil snapped it also. He's an accuser. And accusers look for evidence so that they can use that. Evidence. That time that you were with that boy, the devil snapped it. I know nobody, we didn't see you, we, we didn't see you, but the devil snapped it. But when you were going through those sides, you started by googling how to, how to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Then they gave you suggested suggested options. You can find your dating partner in this side. And somehow your flesh became so strong. And you click it. Bang. And now you forgot how to finish with the Holy Ghost. The man took you to you. And before you know, you begin to explore. But this world is too big. The internet is too big. Before you know it, you are now journeying from one side to one XS dot this. From this XS dot this. And for two hours, you are fellowship. You are in fellowship. Because that the Lord is not there. The Lord has left you. Another spirit has come. And now you are in fellowship. And it became a combined service because they are too short to ensure that you don't leave that place to go to have to contact power of God again. These are people who went and they signed up to a cultic site online. Say fellowship. So all those times, devil snapped everything. When you were in the room and you, and you were masturbating, devil snapped everything. So he waiting, he's waiting for you the day that you want to say the Lord is your Lord. And when, when, when you come for worship like this, suddenly he begins to play back again. You now rewind everything and you start playing. Remember that time you watch a movie and they were doing some sex scene and you take it back, you come back again, you take it back. Canality is wicked. So that will wait. So when you want to now ascend in the place of worship, you want to fly in the place of prayer. You will now begin to play those things. So you first of all throw the picture of that lady you kiss. You throw it first. <laughs> you are not back up, back up, back up. You are still praying. You will not throw that down and that one. You throw it for you again. Hey! You will not throw the other one you stole again. Before you know it, the person that is speaking in tongues high will now go and look for a place and sit down. And it's not a shadow of himself. You know? <laughs> there is wicked. And now you will not believe that you can never be forgiven. But let me tell you, warriors are not like that. Let me tell you what I do. See, I wish I we and you pray everywhere lifting up holy hands see anytime you begin to pray and the devil remind you of your past many times they say remind him of his future but sometimes you don't have the courage to remind him of his future add the past to the prayer point if I'm praying and the devil show me a picture of when I was smoking in fact that thing will ignite me with more anger to pray the more. I will add up that one because 
everything is releasing so that he can make it to stop rain. Do you realize that? No, that's the truth. Everything is trying to do is to ensure that you stop the prayer. So all those wandering thoughts, you are you, you travel and go back to over food. I never chop for us, so I left that food. Hey, hey, can you chop and before I come back, go make it? See, he's trying to <laughs> he's trying to ensure that you stop praying so that he can think of the food you left so that he can never eat it. Oh, my wife, no, they, where she did now? Where she did now? Where she did now? You are praying, oh, but one fine day, your back, oh, you did, she didn't see you, she didn't see you. Oh, are you even dressed where? Well, Add up those things to the prayer point. So when is when that one called you, hey, why are you talking to you? Now the man will kiss one guy, hey, bro, you kiss, ah, mele, tete, eku. The time is going to come, your talking will be stronger than your thinking. Now I'm telling you. Apostle, I can't pray again. Why? Anytime I want to pray, this come, this one come. I say, add those things to the prayer. Add them up to the prayer. Add them up to the prayer. Now yes, you took the meat. Shout them up. If I shout them up. Now yes, you remember you did that? Shout them up. Let the heart posture of repentance be there, but that should not stop you from praying. Because most times God has even forgiven us, but we have not forgiven us. We don't need when the devil show anything, repent of it, then add it up to the prayer and pray it loud. So loud. And you discover that after a while the devil will give up. He won't show you anything again. Because he knows it's a waste of time. Then small time now starting. Are you not tired? Sit down now. You have not done long hour prayer. Sit down. So we don't find someone that doesn't sit down. So you see, are you not close your eyes? I asleep. Anytime the devil suggests anything, do the opposite. If you can disobey the devil intentionally, you will obey God naturally. Just be strong in your disobedience to the devil. You don't even need to worry about obeying God. You will do that naturally. And anytime you disobey the devil, grace is released for you to obey God. And the more you obey God, grace is released for you to obey God. Amen. Paul said he wished that we pray everywhere. Do you know I learned about a God like this a God or what's his name that he has never prayed for? He doesn't pray for more than is it 15 minutes? But I learned that they said he hardly allowed 15 minutes pass without him praying. Now see. There's one that used to walk with a carton that used to put in his head and cover his head. You go for meeting, you see him put a carton. It's only when it's time to miss you remove that and continue. The story of great men that walk with God is the story of men that pray. If you don't pray, your days of counseling have no end. Is it true? Counseling sessions will reduce in our churches if men wake up to pray. Them. Prayer may not solve the problem at the moment, but it will give you the strength and the courage eh, not to be weary by the present challenge. Because there is a time of life, I agree. Prayer brings it closer. It may be tomorrow, it can be the next one, it can be the next two hours. But sometimes you kill yourself before that time. So prayer will ensure that you are preserved before that time. One of the kind of prayer a believer must learn how to pray. He must be victorious to learn how to pray for long. Learn to pray for long. Pray for in the long hour prayer is very healthy for a believer. If you check the hours of time that Jesus Christ prayed, you'll be shocked. I always say, 
an average believer pray five times in a day a believer is not even guarantee of one time in a day sorry an average muslim pray five times in a day a believer is not guarantee of even even once in a day you have 24 hours in a day you can't tell you are busy for 24 hours if you are busy for 24 hours at least you should be a billionaire but you are not a billionaire you're not even a millionaire and yet you say you don't have time what are you using your time for you are not anointed like really really that's something it's the same 24 hours that we have that the billionaire the billionaires and all the men making impact upon the face of their house come on now. if you say your time is not used for this let's see what you are using for so often time when i extract the lives of people i now discover that they waste time the way they waste money see the grace of god will take away laziness out of you everybody has a labor to do when it comes to god the same way if you must make impact if you must succeed in life this thing requires a lot of labor a lot of there is has to be work put in view nothing works until it's been worked upon anytime you see impact know that there's a very big sacrifice that's put upon but when you are very lazy and you are not willing to ensure that you put in effort nothing may work the law of the night shall be cut off with you you must learn to pray for long pray for long don't be afraid you have a weekend for yourself at least let that we cannot go without at least you're engaging god for long doing more than the way you used to do before when you were busy you pray for only one hour in a day now that you are free you are not still doing one hour in a day no it's, it's wrong yes i know prayer is not about the quantity it's about the quality but you know you can pray qualitative prayer for quantitative hour yes who says you will pray in the flesh you can pray in the spirit for that long i get what i'm saying and with this understanding of this realm i told you you can spend time worshiping spend some time praying spend some time studying before you know it you have spent qualitative time with god because these things are capital that make god to be involved in your life i told you before that is a partnership what is your own part what is your own side of the baguette do you know your responsibility do you know because irresponsibility is the genesis of failure in anything and don't tell me you are small you are not small don't tell me you are old you are not old at any point you are in life you can begin anything at any point in life some of us believe we encounter god too late and also another person that encountered god but he had they were with the same when he went for masters see there are people that today they are that old other than they are not even some are just starting while we're in school is when we're about finishing that some people are in 500 level before they now get filled the holy ghost i say what your own is more late than my own why there are some that had the privilege when they were young how i wish i started like some of those people. but it did not even really show as though you started whether late or early why because if it is god so long as we can make contact god is the one that you see gives speed to men god is the one that can restore god is the one in fact he can be able to turn away the, it will not even look as though you have wasted any time before bible speak about the tale of the life of job that it, it became more better than even the beginning his life at onset was even a life of admiration but when he was brought down low when he was lifted again it looks as though nothing like that happened and that's how god works See, today if i don't tell you that i've done something you will not even know why because that's how god works so you may look at your life now look like if you look at it but by the time the lord does do some little things to you things will now change you will not be surprised that this was you that when you come back before it wasn't like this the 
same way when it comes to finance, the same way when it comes to academy, the same way when it comes to anything. I wrote Wayek and Naptep and Neko more than 10 times. Okay. I keep failing. All of those both believe I was a dumb, dumb dollar. So I'll be right. They will not give me one credit and give me every F. And I say, why did I even check the result? I leave the money, I'm even going to use something for you. Vote and fail, vote again. Don't agree with what the world says. The world will call you a failure many times. As I have to say, who is he that speaks for a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it to so? Are you sure it's the Lord that commanded that thing that people say is a failure in your life? Or you are the one that agree with them? Success is always, always, always your resilience not to agree to the art of failure. I'm yet to see many billionaires I mean, that have not failed several times. They have failed. Some of them were bankrupt, but they come back again. Now I've seen people turn their life turn like night, like day. So strangely. You can't be able to imagine what God can do with you tomorrow. It can change like when the prophet said by this time tomorrow. Nobody ever believed it. How can a captivity be torn by this time tomorrow? It's almost impossible. But everything with God oftentimes is instant. Sometimes it's a process that takes time. It's instant. How about the story of a guy? A guy stole some money and bought all these damn coins. He became one of these things. When he stole the 150,000 USD, he put a wand or something of those coins. They now arrested him and sent him to jail. For is it five years? When he went to jail for five years, when he came out, they said the Bitcoin now had entered millions. Ah. When he came out from the jail, they said, okay, you are done with your jail sentence, but the person that stole the money from saying you must still pay me one, and he said, okay, no problem. He went and sold the coin in millions and billions and came and gave him his money with extra. He said, thank you for sending me to jail. Send me again. Well, I'm telling you, the suffering you may be going through right now, I get what I'm saying. Everything that you may look and wonder why is this one here? Why is this one here? I told you it's obedience, but it comes to a certain level. When you see the lives of men, check where are they coming from? How how long have they endured? You just begin today. As you put, I don't see me say, Apostle, I go for me they hold me. They say, okay, Apostle, transfer everything. So they want to become like you tomorrow morning. Like they just sleep and wake up and process cannot be transferred growth cannot be transferred i can maybe pray for you the grace of the lord come upon you for you to suffer in obedience also and be able to learn also but tell you the truth you must still also be able to go through gradually when adam was created as a big man it failed god same value everybody must grow so when jesus christ will have to come he come as a child and he grew you if Jesus Christ grew, you too must grow. Imagine all the life of Jesus from when he was a child till that age of 30. Imagine from that is age to 30. What was he doing? Do you believe? Do you do, would you agree with me that he too went through some situation that he felt somehow? Any of you are not of the 30 years? And let me tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. Enduring 30 years without starting the work of God is a challenge. That means him too was learning God. Him too was going through all kinds of things. He attended school. He went to primary school, secondary school. He went to in fact, he, he went to market. He had to go and look for. They had to eat. He didn't eat heaven bread now. They ate normal food. So he worked for his mother, for his father. Be patient. When you look at any time you sit with great men, when you begin to ask them where are they coming from, don't admire the glory you see. If you are given the privilege to actually journey from where they did, maybe you will even pass life before you even reach. Maybe you will even give up before you even reach there. 
I sat with a billionaire in Lagos that told me that he hawk was it he sold bread that time in Milan, but today he's staying in Bihar. And if you see the kind of way those guys are, he was telling you to buy a private job like but you will never believe that their life was like that before. But often time when you check how many years? This thing took almost close to 20, 30 years. And you just begin the next just five years and you say you are tired. You want to give up, please give up now. Because the thing is this, there is no miracle that will happen until you go to a certain level of process. So at every level in life, God will do to you a miracle that you can contain at that level. Because if you are shooting to that level right now, you may go down. If they give you a multi-billionaire company to run today, you may never be able to sleep again. And you that like your sleep. See the problem now? But you may even bring it down. Because you may not even have the wealth capacity to be able to handle the organization and your operations. What I'm trying to say is that even in your journey in God right now, God gives you the level to which you can handle. So by the time you grow more and enlarge more capacity, He will give you more. He will give you more. One of those my boys, I don't know how it happens, broke into healthy millions. That guy began to change laptop like, like chicken change. Yesterday, they said, I'm going to Banners Plaza. What? Went and bought another laptop, almost a million dollars. I said, you have Apple. What are you doing with the other one? That is the money. What I'm just trying to let you understand, it didn't begin like that. It was somebody that before you give 100 naira the charge card to buy night data. But today, light, night, and darkness. Your life right now that you see today, if you can remain faithful and keep on following. So let me tell you, when God wants to begin to change the thing like this, it will shock you. Never admire greatness if you don't understand the process that took them there. And the same way in your journey in God today, you may look at people and begin to admire what they see. If you go through the same process and you are faithful to the end, you will get the same. But many of us have a resentment, a resist. We have this kind of repugnance towards worthy people. The man came to me, he shouted, he told me, I have this uncle, this uncle refused to help me. This one refused to help me. This one refused to help me. I said, You, who have you helped? I said, but I'm to, as you play, go change this man. I said, what have you helped? How serious your life? What are you doing? See, if I don't even trust the man, see, he's a man self in society. He says, it's your property thinking that believe that every boy car you see that is must blood money. I said, now, how do you now want him to help you with the mindset? Please, what I'm just trying to let you understand is you must be consistent for a while. Apply the principle, apply and endure as much as possible. Anytime you see success, it's at the end of many failures. The story of this man that invented this light is the one that always surprised me. The man that has failed, the greatest failure in the life, in the life is your mankind. The man they say he failed almost, is it 999 times? Just to invent electricity. You see, electricity broke now. If you maybe if you failed almost 30 times, you would have given up. Him, he went till almost the 1,000 times was when he was able to get the invention. And today you can't even improve on it. Because of the level of how much more it was put upon. Be very serious with your life. Relationship with God zero. Business zero, commitment to church zero, commitment to work zero. You zero in everything is not is not you see is a challenge. I always say the way I talk, you won't like me, but I'm telling I'm telling the truth. You are in school, you have to read, you are not reading. You move from one place to another place to another place, and you wonder why you fail. It's not a mystery, it can be demystified. It's your carelessness. There are only few times when you now say it's really one demon that is somewhere. Often times there's no demon anywhere. Because even the demons of laziness are not lazy. They are ensuring that you remain the way you are. 
Yeah? That is the truth. The demons of laziness are not lazy. I went to Benue. Early in the morning, early in the morning, you see old men, you see strong men that are supposed to go out to do something to do work. Look for something to do good. They will cross their leg and sit down playing draft and drink it. Early money, early money. And I'm sure they have not called upon the name of the Lord. And you are looking for the Lord to help you. You see, if, if you wake up early in the morning and to, try to even at least fellowship with God, I can say you do something. When every door is closed, return back to the law. You may believe you don't have an advantage at all. I agree with you. But can you go to the law? See, today, I always tell people, some of us, our story is not the beauty of money. Our story is not the beauty of connection or anything, no. Some of us, we are referred to as vagabonds, as Helpless in the body of Christ, but somehow, when God put His hand upon someone, you can't fight a man that God is lifting. You can't. It will be as though you are fighting God Himself. And that's what they told. Say, these people, if it is God, we can't succeed in fighting them. If it is not God, they will be self destruct Are you really sure? Eh? That God knows you. I'm not saying are you sure you are coming, you are coming to but are you sure that God knows you? Because knowing is a function of relationship. One day I stood in our ministry there, Shekinah Network International. I told them there are too many of you here. I don't think I have everybody number safe here. I know a few, but I don't know many. So I don't even know your names. So you must be able to understand that it's level of relationship and level of communication. Do God know you? Men may not be able to know everybody, eh? but God knows everybody. Only God can know everybody that comes to Him. He won't despise no one that comes to Him. But you, the, the Papa may not know you. Many of them, I say, it's not even possible for me to even know. I try for meeting everyone to call them. I say, I won't call you for the next three years, and you'll be shocked. But does God know you? Because if God knows you, He will come for you every day. Because it's only God that can appear to me, appear to you, appear to at the same time. Still, I can't do that. I'm not omnipotent. I'm not omnipresent. I'm not omniscient. If men solve your problem, the problem will come again. If God solve it, they take it away. Men don't solve problem; they ease it. God is the one that does that. You see something very profound? You see, men don't heal. They ask her to you say, I don't heal this. Heal. It's God that does it. Even her, I say, Do you know she died with sickness? Is she heal this? Uh, can you come and have you studied her? Uh, she died with sickness. Most of them die. So it's not them that do it. It's God that does it. So I'm trying to, we are ensuring that we point you to God. Go have a relationship. Don't just wake up in the morning and bah, you hit the street. Just wake up in the morning and just bah, go commit one sin again. No. God first. God first. I know a guy. So when I'm just done, my uncle will put me in this position. Unfortunately to him, before he was done, the uncle died. That's God knows. Let me tell you, nothing will happen to those that refuse to help you in this life. They won't die. That's true. So you better learn it and let it very well. Of course, it's, it's true. One of the prime of greatness is that when you have become great, learn to actually be able to lift others. Okay, what I'm saying now. Both. You must be able to know that you cannot help a man that is not willing to help himself. Never try to do to people what only God can do for them. That's why everybody must go seek the help of God. Because if a man help you, you will still need God to help you. But if God help you, of course. Even if men choose not to help you, he will still come again. 
when you pray for long what you are trying to do is to come to the end of yourself so that god can help you a believer that doesn't pray for long cannot come to the end of himself when you pray for long what happens is that you crack your your will your soul crack and your will is broken You realize that sometimes it takes time after you pray, 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 pray for long before you now feel the atmosphere. Then you begin to, now you too begin to believe God. If you didn't do that long, you will have seen the main in the outer court. Because you see, when you begin to pray, you join from the outer court, the inner court, then to the holy of holy. Sometimes it takes time to do that journey. Depending on how much you can yield. The believer that must be victorious must learn how to pray for long. Lock yourself inside and pray, you won't die. You watch the movie for 13 hours, nothing happened to you. Try to pray for a long, nothing will happen. Prayers never kill anybody. Nobody will die. Nobody die in the place of prayer. You will not be the first. Learn to pray for long. Also, learn to pray spontaneously. Any believer that must win victoriously must learn to pray spontaneously. Spontaneous prayer means. You may not pray for long in a day, but let's say you pray five minutes. Later on, after three hours, you now pray another five minutes. After another hour, you now pray another ten minutes. Sometimes you can just be like that and you feel the urge to pray. You just do three minutes. Later, you are still somewhere. You now nobody is there. You just pray for another five minutes. At that time, somebody nobody is there. You just pray. Those people are very dangerous. Because sometimes you can pray for five hours, and when you stop praying, the devil will come at the sixth hour. And that's when you have rested with your soul. So when you pray spontaneously, it means you are trying to pray always. So within each and every moment, you are infusing, you are putting in something. Because sometimes the Lord will come to stir you up to pray at time that you are not even you don't even really want to pray, but you can feel an urge and a stirring. No, it's a different you say okay i want to pray for five hours today that one is different but suddenly you are in the farm and you now feel the staring to pray you don't even know why please as you are still using the hope just speak some tongues that's the reason maybe somebody is in danger and he needed your prayer to save him because most times somebody can be in the hospital about to give birth and the child is about to die and you are being you are in the office and as you are signing suddenly you just feel as if there is a presence that come and there's a grace for you to pray it's intercession it has nothing to do with you. So if you don't pray that spontaneous at that time, you may not be able to deliver that person. Others may come there and do the prayer of faith. They come together, let's join faith with this brother and this sister and pray so that she give birth. But you there, the Lord beckon upon you as an intercessor to be able to intercede for the person. And if you fail to do that, their prayer of faith may not even work. Pray spontaneously because when the Lord beckons us into the prayer, it's because He wants to join you sometimes with a possession in the spirit. Often time that what we call possession in the spirit, this hope up in the spirit. Sometimes when you when you are beckoned upon, it's because God wants you to join in that possession. That's why there are times when you pray, the prayer gets sweet. Other times the prayer gets hard. Because spontaneous prayer means for you to align to portals open in the spirit. Let me run that please. Also, you must learn to pray in discouragement. Many people get discouraged and they stop praying. No. If you want to be victorious, learn to pray in discouragement. Jesus Christ was crying, yet he prayed. Do you realize that? He was praying even when he was crying. He was praying even in the cross. He was praying everywhere in that discouragement, in that dungeon. Imagine if the apostles got angry. Why will God allow me to be in this dungeon? And they stopped praying. But when they enter prison, they pray there and the prayer took them out. So if you are discouraged, you refuse to pray, you will remain in that state. But by the time you are discouraged, you pray, you will leave that state. See how the thing works now. You must learn to be able to pray in discouragement. I said John the Baptist was offended by Jesus. And that's why he was in that prison, he didn't refuse to pray. That's why when Jesus Christ did what he did, he said, Blessed is he that is not offended in me. You must learn to pray within yourself quietly. Pray, learn how to pray. Have you pray? Have you been trying to sleep before and you are still praying in your spirit? 
there are times when you may not pray with your mouth, but your spirit can be praying. It's a very powerful prayer. So you must be victorious. Learn to pray quietly within your spirit. You can actually be where people are and you are praying, they will not know. Somebody came to my house to stay with me. He said, hey. I also want to come and learn the way of prayer. He came for the whole day. He didn't see me speaking in tongues. And he was wondering, Apostle, when is the time for prayer? I said, you are in the flesh. I've been praying since. He was waiting to see me do. As I was lying down there, I was praying with him. Sometimes he see me go down. Like he. He's not sleep. He's serious prayer. Sometimes I cannot close my eyes. His prayers and prayer. I'm just so, I'm closer that I won't be distracted by you. Because sometimes, if I, you just come and tap me. So sometimes you have to create a posture that they will think as if you are resting, but you are actually resting. Pray. You must learn to pray quietly. Quiet. Sometimes when you are doing that kind of quiet prayer, presence and power begin to develop. You must learn to grow. Grow. Many of you have not grown for long. You have not given birth yet. Anytime you must give birth, there must be growing. If you want to give birth, you must grow. There are a lot of possibilities in you that need to be better by growing. And that's why sometimes we organize prayer and keep people for long so that they can pray all kinds of prayer. When we pray for long, we will grow. We will grow. That one you can't do quiet prayer. I told somebody that you can't come here and be doing quiet prayer. When you are when you are inside, do quiet. When you come corporate, please pray, let's hear you. That's the truth. When you are alone, you can pray quietly. If you like sleep, because but that shows how decadence you are. But when you are out with people, pray so that your countenance can sharpen others. You must learn to pray intercessory prayers. You must learn to pray for your leaders. Learn to also pray for your enemies. You must also learn to pray midnight prayers. Many of you don't wake up at night to pray. You know that even if you can wake up and pray for five minutes at night, it's potent. You think you know it's not easy to sacrifice sleep to pray. This is a sacrifice. If you can wake up at night to dare to pray, and you know many things are decided at night. Many things. So imagine you wake up at those times when they are waking up to actually make decisions and giving to your life. And you too, you now say, I'm present, I'm here, oh, I'm here. Wake up at night sometimes. You discover that prayer is hard at night. People that know how to pray at night don't find it, they find it very easy to pray in the daytime. Give me a lesson. Anybody that pray night prayer very well, it doesn't pray within the daytime is just a normal thing. Learn also to pray consistently every day without season. Also, you can learn to pray with time watch. Yesterday we explained time watch now, right? Those time watch you can learn to ensure that with every time watch, that's what Muslims do. Every time watch. They pray something every time we watch and while i was studying the constellation i realized that every time we watch reveals something if you look at the sky after every of those time watch the sky changes their shape i'm telling you it's strange after every time watch even if at the night times you now discover that after every three three three, three hours now you see the moon and the stars they change their configuration they change their location you see now when you go again after another thing you see the atmosphere will change the same way if you do 24 hours prayer you understand this if you go 24 hours prayer you discover that at every time watch different kind of grace is released different kind of strength different kind of angels are released that's how it works if you are doing like a marathon prayer let's say you begin from six the kind of strength and energy people used to pray from six to, to nine will be similar. But immediately when from nine to, to twelve, the thing will switch. From that twelve to another three, the thing will not switch again. From three to six, it will switch again. From that, it will switch. switch. That's how it works. Because at each and every time of the day, at each and every time, they call them time of prayers. It has an opportune season of advantage. That's why Muslims will not just pray anyhow. Even the Jews, I think the Jews do the same thing. They are aligning themselves to a portal because portals open at each of those time gates. So it will be advantageous if you learn how to come within each of those portal gate time to utter the creed. 
because arrows are pestilence and all kinds of nonsense are commanded within certain areas of this time. You can intervene them. I have spoken so much now. Can we rise up and pray for the next five minutes? Don't suppose take some more time today. Can you ask the Lord to help you? Ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord to give you the grace to pray without ceasing. Ask the Lord to give you the grace to continually to be dependent upon Him, to continually press upon Him. Ask the Lord to renew your strength to be able to continue. We are not them that fall unto perdition, but we are men and women of faith. We are men and women of the Spirit. We know our Redeemer liveth, and He liveth forevermore. Give me the grace to follow abundant grace to follow. As the Lord to supply his strength and his grace upon you continually even unto the end of time. Many don't reach the end, many give up, many stop along the wayside. You can continue. You can continue. You can't continue. As the Lord to help you the journey can become weary for all of us but sometimes we survive by the supply of the strength and the spirit and the power of the Lord Baba Lava Bana Baba Skabla Daba Bala Daba Ba. Don't allow the devil prosper in your life. Don't allow the devil win the battle in your life. Baba Laita Baba Nabas Baba Bala Naba Baska Baba Lada Baba Ska. Bada Baba Landai. Baba Rabai Baba Rabai Baba Rabai. Baba La Baba Naba Bakanda Baba La Diaba Baska Ba. Baba 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 Landa, Bakwan, Daba Ladam, Bakwan, Ada Babana, Kaba, Bada Baska, Baba Ladam, Ba, Raba Bana, Baba Laban, Bada Baba, Saba Bana Dia, Bada Baba Landa Dia, Himanua, Thy whole world is calling your name. Emmanuel, when you come again, Emmanuel, and the church will see your holy face, Emmanuel, when you come to reign, Emmanuel, thy whole world is calling your name. Emmanuel, when you come again, Emmanuel, and the church will see your holy face, Emmanuel, when you come to reign, Emmanuel, thy whole world is calling your name. Emmanuel, 
When you come again, Emmanuel, and the church will see your holy face, Emmanuel, when you come to end. Rabunai, Yahweh Elohim, you are the king. We cry, Adonah, Adonai, Yahweh Elohim, you are the King, you are the King, and you reign. We cry, Adonah, Adonai, Yahweh Elohim, you are the King. Why Adonah, I Adonah, Yahweh Elohim, you are the King, and you are. I cry Adonah, I Adonah, Yahweh Elohim, you are the King, you are the We cry, Adonah, I Adonah, Yahweh Elohim, You are the King, You are the King. We cry, Adonah, Adonai, Yahweh Elohim, you are the King of Hope, and you reign, and you reign forevermore. We cry, Adonah, Yahweh Elohim. You are the king, and you are the king forever. We cry, Adonah. You are the king, you are the king, and you are forever. And I cry, Adonah. You are the king of hell. We cry, Adonah, we you. You are the king of hell, and you are. I cry, Adonah. You are the king of hell, and you are. Can you pray for the last time I see God? In this season, can you break through for me? I have come to the end of myself. Help me and break through for me, O God. Help me and break through for me in the name of Jesus. Break through for my family. Pray to for my children. Pray to for me in the name of Jesus. Shaba bana 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 saba. Baba laila kaba bana bana bana. Ah, kaba bana 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 bana. 
Baba Bala Baba Daba Basta Baba La Diasta Ah Raba Damai 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 Ah Baba La Baba 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 Basta Baba La Baba Ah Raba Bala Baba Baba Basta Dia I will pray to you my Bala Baba La Baba La Baba Basta Baba La Dia Ah Raba Daba Baba Baba La Baba Basta Ah Raba Daba Baba La Baba Bala Baba La Baba Basta Dia Alabasta, 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 Alabasta. I refuse to be under the bondage of the devil. I refuse to be under the oppression of the devil. I refuse to be a base. I refuse to be a base. I decide to dominate. I decide to dominate. I decide to dominate. I decide to dominate. Abasta, Baba 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 Laila, Baba Lama, Baba 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 Baba. I challenge that authority of the devil. I challenge it. I challenge it. I said, Thus far shall thou go. I no more further. Bana Baba Naba Staba Bana Baba Aha Baba Baba Staba Bana Baba Naba Aha Baba Baba Naba Baba Baba Staba Aha Baba Naba Baba Baba Naba Baba Aha Baba 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 Staba Aha Baba 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 Staba Aha Baba 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 Staba Aha Baba 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 Staba Aha Baba 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 Staba Aha Baba I Spirit, you are my life. You are my life. Holy Spirit, you are my life. You are my life. Holy Spirit, you are my life. 
You are my life, oh, you are my life. Holy Spirit, you are my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask that may the strength and the power of the Lord rest upon you. I declare and I declare the abundance of the Lord upon your life. I stand against that oppressor. I stand against that tormentor. I stand against that adversary. In the name of Jesus, I pray you for you. I ask that that which you are trusting of the Lord God of heaven, I declare and I declare that let it be released for you in the name of Jesus. I join faith together with you. I pray that may the Lord God of heaven of all possibilities, he that does day and night, he that does the earth to be in order, may the Lord God of heaven begin to order your step again. May the Lord God of heaven begin to guide you again. May the Lord God of heaven begin to deliver you again. I decree and I declare that may the Lord God of heaven come for you. I stand against every sickness. I stand against every disease. I stand against every infirmity of the body. I say be healed in the name of Jesus. I pray upon you from today. Let there be testimonies over your life. I ask that everyone that is under this atmosphere, over this cloud, receive a blessing from the Lord in the name of Jesus. I pray that in this week, you will have a reason to give glory to the Lord. I pray that in this new week, you will have a testimony to the name of the Lord. I pray that all of you will live and not die. I pray that all of you will live and not die. I see you with the seed of the Lord. I declare and I declare that that which troubles you is trouble today. Everything that oppresses you is being oppressed today. I challenge that challenge. I torment that tormentor. I suppress that suppression. I declare and I declare that we serve as blessings, bless, that we serve as decide to curse you. May they receive complication of curses. I pray that there be supernatural encounters and visitation over your life. May the Lord God proceed to and reveal himself mightily to you in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare many of you are in diverse kinds of situations. May the Lord God of heaven that is a master of impossibility come and show you his might and his power in the name of Jesus. I pray that your business must prosper. All that concerns you must prosper in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare by the Lord God of heaven, God unto you, speed in the name of Jesus. Everything you have lost in time past, I restore it in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord of God of heaven connect you with helpers, destiny partners, men and women that will partner with you in business, partner with you in work, partner with you in everything you do in the name of Jesus. I pray that every door that you have knocked upon that will be closed. I open another one for you in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare for you by the power of the Lord that your wayward daughter, that your wayward son, that your wayward wife, that your wayward husband, in the name of Jesus, they are restored in the name of Jesus. We stand together by faith and we intercede on behalf of them. We say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the Lord God encounter them in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will not backslide. I separate you from everyone that is intending to make you backslide. I connect with people that will help you grow in God in the name of Jesus. I speak unto your life, I pray, that every shadow of darkness, every shadow of bondage, every shadow of oppression, every shadow of resistance, I break that wall of partition in the name of Jesus. I speak unto your life, I say move forward in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare, many of you, many things cannot stay in your hand. Whether a money, whether a job, whether a good relationship, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that may the favor of the Lord begin to speak for you from today in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. May the heavens and the earth bear witness today that your life is blessed and your life is restored. I pray that in this new week you will be blessed and be blessed indeed. May the Lord God of heaven give you testimonies. That sickness of your body is broken. That infirmity in your body is healed. That oppression is healed. 
that migraine is gone that pain is gone that breathing condition is gone every doctor report is changed in the name of jesus but the lord god of heaven strength you i bless your finances i pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth may you begin to receive blessings even financial blessings in the name of jesus i pray that may the lord god of heaven give you the power to make wealth in the name of jesus i decree new contract i decree new appointment i decree new admission for each and every one in the name of jesus i bless you with the blessings of heaven in jesus mighty name i pray amen and amen can you give the lord a shout Hallelujah. 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 We pray for me and uh, Toby. The wedding week has come after all. So Saturday is the day. I believe we are set. <laughs> 